So this is the result of the acai bowl, guys. Oh my gosh, this looks so bomb. I've been trying to eat good and stuff, so obviously you can never go wrong with these. I got a large, whoops. Um, and then the background. I'm at a lake, I'm at a pond or whatever it is. And honestly, I love this so much. This is just like so relaxing and like, you know, just everybody minds their own business here. But let's go right ahead and get first taste of this here. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's see. Oh my gosh. I'm the type of person that doesn't like to mix mine a lot. I like to get sections squirrels that I keep hearing. They're eyeing my food, but cheers. Look at that. Ugh. Mm. This is so good. It is so refreshing. Look at that. I'm trying to get some of the chocolate. Oops, I keep dropping it. Mmm. Oh, this is a good bite. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I love this location so much because as you guys saw in the menu, only about 15 bucks for this. That's cheap. Like for a huge acai bowl like this, girl, you can't go wrong with that. Mm. Oh, it's a good bite. Mm. I'm not just gonna be eating. Like, you swear, you guys just wanna eat, see me eat. But, this is a little story time. I already gave kinda like little hints, I guess you could say, in regards to this. The only reason why I didn't really wanna say it was because me dio vergüenza. I didn't really wanna process yet if it was one or not. And I guess it was um, delusional. I wanted to confirm it out here that I was in a relationship in a way. It was kind of a weird dating, like boyfriend, girlfriend situation. But yeah, that really happened. This was probably like two, three years ago. Maybe probably a little more. I don't remember when. But I started talking to this guy. I did meet this guy on an app and it was just one spontaneous night that he invited me to go over to his place and ride bikes with him. And he was like, hey, I got a bike. Are you down to come over? I'll take you on a ride. And I was like, oh, bitch, okay. I was like, I've never been on a motorcycle. So it was definitely like a little experience there, I guess. I was like, fuck it. Let me have fun, whatever. So I go over. He seemed like he was in this picture. It's a little bit um, uglier, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I mean, he was, like, very handsome. Like, a guy with a motorcycle in his ear, like, look, he's hot. Like, come on. So, anyways, he actually had a bike. I went over to his place. Introduced each other, whatever, whatever. He was like, all right, hop on. Like, put me my helmet and stuff. And looking back at it, the low-key where I was sitting on the motorcycle was not safe. I think that motorcycle was only for a one-person rider. And, bitch. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. It wasn't safe. And we drove on the highway. 
no joke he lived in the IE area and we literally drive from there to I think it's called Corona del Mar and that seems about right so he sent he parks whatever and it's really a really nice view like we're able to sit down and there's like a nice view and stuff and from literally hanging on to dear life on the motorcycle no joke me dio un pinche calambre un calambre bien feo guys all over like my back like i couldn't even sit down like i wanted to cry like and he was like are you okay i'm like honestly i'm not like i have a really bad calambre like what the fuck he massaged me whatever we were there making out for a while and stuff and then we ended up heading back to his place so again on the motorcycle Ugh, horrible whatever's and then i slept over at his at his pad and after that we just continued talking my dumbass of course was still not grown or whatever like i was still easily manipulated um and gullible and stuff like that i will admit that and i just thought this guy was gonna be like a genuine guy and he did really seem like that like a hundred percent but it got to the point where you know he would leave his bike at my house um i would literally wake up early when he would park it it would be like at three o'clock in the morning he would drop it off and i would take him back home to his house and i would sleep over at his house like he would literally call me and call me and call me and call me when i got too tired of doing that he would still call me like crazy and i was like oh my gosh like what did i get myself into but then i was like nah it's fine like doing him a favor or whatever whatever nothing wrong with that you know I, i'm just nice like that and then i started getting to the point where it got problems with his brother um it was just like a lot of drama going on with his family i guess um at one point he would leave his clothes in my car like his whole closet because his brother would steal his clothes and then when i got to the point where i was like bitch get your fucking clothes out of my car like i'm so over it i can't use my car for shit i can't like take my stuff like or anything nothing fits in my car and he had one too and for some reason he didn't want to put it in his car and his car was a lot bigger than mine like i was like what the fuck and so it continued on whatever is that happened i got over it, i guess and another day he basically called me and he was like hey like i'm here eating do you want to come and i was like oh okay he's never asked that before during the whole time we were talking and stuff like never really like the only time that it was like a good hangout i guess um would be when we went to the beach the first time that i met him and so you up in the ha i go to the restaurant because he was basically telling me shit he was like wow you're really not gonna come i'm literally already eating like i don't have money who's gonna pay for it this and this and, this and that like literally like telling me shit and i felt bad bro i felt so like oh my gosh like oh i can't like i really can't this and this and this and that and yeah i don't know what was going on through my head and yo te pendeja y voy so i went to the restaurant mm. and um i got there and i sit down and i'm pissed because he literally like asked for the check and he would literally he waited for me to get there to give me the fucking receipt to pay for it i was like what so that got me mad he literally was like well i don't have money you're gonna have to pay for it i don't have money and i was like this whole time where i was with him i barely had money for myself so when i could have gotten myself food 
I would get it for him first. Like I would be more like I would buy it for them for him first. So I don't know what was going on through my head. And yeah, so whatever, I paid for it. And then after he was like, oh, do you wanna go for a drive to the beach or whatever, like down to follow me? Before he said, are you down to follow me? I was like, oh yeah, that'd be nice. Like behind your bike, right? Like I'll be on your bike or something or like you're gonna come in my car, like what's gonna happen? He was like, no, you're just gonna follow me. And I was like, ew, like what? That doesn't make sense. At first I was like, oh, okay, yeah, fuck it, whatever, I'm down. And then after when I got to the gas station, I was putting gas in my car. And I was like, you know what? I don't need that. I don't need to follow his ass. If he really wanted to fucking hang out, he would fucking want to hang out. And so when he was waiting for me and I was still putting in gas, I was like, you know what? I'm not going to go with you. You could just go. And he just left. Okay. Okay. And I was like, wow. After all those annoying times that he did to me, I just realized, I was like, you know what? I don't need to take this from nobody. I can't do this shit. This is not for me. Like, where, why, why am I doing this? I was literally questioning myself so much, like, what the fuck am I doing? And so, I went over. At this point, I even met his mom already hung out whatever whatever and i go over because i tell him i was like hey i'm going over i need to tell you something he was like no you can't no 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 and i was like bitch i don't give a fuck i'm going i don't give a fuck you made me fucking pay for all this shit well i'm gonna go i don't give a fuck and so i went and so i arrived he ended up getting in my car I parked the street down and I was like, you know what? I'm over this fucking shit. Like, you're literally so fucking annoying and inconsiderate. All you have been doing is stealing my money. So, if anything, I want that money back. Ah! I literally said that. I was like, bitch, I'm so broke that I need that money. Like, I don't give a fuck. And of course, that didn't go well. He got all mad. And he was like, you know what? I'm done with your shit. I've been done with your shit. Like, I don't know what you're even talking about. This and this and this and that. I'm like, all of a sudden, now that I'm telling you shit, you're like saying like, um, I don't do anything. I haven't done put any effort into this or like, I was nothing to you. But yeah, you were calling me to like leave your car at the house and like picking you up and taking you back home, um, paying for your food, all this shit. Like, no just no and i was like you know what i don't give a fuck just get out my car get out the fucking car i don't give a fuck he got out the car and then after that i literally don't have any communication with this person blocked deleted removed from everything i literally tried the best possible to remove this person and overall it's been very well very very well honestly it's so shocking to me that that happened to me only because I was just more upset the fact that why like why me what like what the fuck and so that's why after that like I never really wanted to be in you know get involved with relationships or you know just dip my feet into it because you know what you never know who you're gonna bump into and I feel like at the end of the day, I still need to work on myself um, to not be so gullible. Ah! Personally, I just need to try to focus on myself. And si me viene, pues si me viene. Like, I'm not looking for it or anything. So, like, whatever happens, it happens. But también, I'm not in a rush. Like, yeah, it's nice, you know what I mean? Like, to be in a relationship and stuff. But, like, for me personally, I just... I don't see that as a focus point, to be honest. I'm just still trying to work on myself and trying to get my shit situated. Cause if I could barely like start handling my shit now, what makes you think I could handle like a relationship in a way? Like, I don't want to put that on a person. I don't know, but that's basically my ridiculous relationship story about being in a 
delusional, crazy, annoying relationship. Or whatever it was, honestly. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video.